Mark Thiessen. Now, Mark, this story, there are four brutal polls for Biden. New York Times, Siena, CBS, ABC, and Gallup. Now you got Democrats like David Axelrod saying these brutal polls, Biden should drop out, and political reporting, a Democrat insider saying, fire the person who said yes, campaign on Bidenomics. When you saw these polls, what was your reaction? Uh, exactly that. I mean, look, the Democrats don't have a, a problem, a Democrat problem, they have a Joe Biden problem. Joe Biden is the least popular president since the end of World War II, not named Jimmy Carter. Um, it, it consistently uh, in, all, in a lot of polls. Um, and the reality is, is that if that if you take uh, him off the ballot, right now they, there's a New York Times Siena poll showing that, that uh, Trump wins in all of these swing states, except for Wisconsin. If you take Biden off the ballot and put Trump up against a generic Democrat, the generic Democrat crushes him. I mean, in, in Wisconsin, they win, generic, generic Democrat wins by 12, Pennsylvania 11. Georgia, nine, Michigan, seven, Arizona, seven, Nevada, three. So the Demo the you know, there one of the uh, letter writers into the New York Times said, uh, the message of the poll is you got to tell time to tell grandpa, grandpa, we love you. You've been a great grandfather, but it's time to take away the car keys. Wow, that's really interesting, your analysis there. So let's go through it. Biden is, uh, Trump is leading Biden in five key swing states, Nevada, Georgia, yes. Arizona, Michigan, Pennsylvania. He has a narrow two-point lead yep. in Wisconsin. That's 67 electoral college votes for Trump there. Biden won yes. all six of those states in 2020. He needs to win at least four of them to get reelected. I mean, he, Trump is doing better with minority voters like Hispanics, or he's pulling them, he's pulling black voters toward him, towards him, and he's pulling away Gen Z voters, strikingly, after Biden gave them student loan bailouts. I mean, to what you're saying, this new Gallup poll, yeah. he's still the worst of all, Biden's still the worst of all presidents since Jimmy Carter. Yeah, I mean, just look at the 538 average of polls, and it shows you every president going back to Harry Truman. And he is the least popular president except for uh, Jimmy Carter. Uh, but again, what's in, what this is a function of is not of Trump's popularity, not like a resurgence in love for Trump. It's a it's just Biden. If America has come to the conclusion that Biden is an absolute disaster. So what we have seen consistently in all the polls is that Americans don't want a Trump Biden rematch. And so what yeah. we, what's what been happening is you're being asked, well, if you have to choose between two candidates you don't like, what are you going to do? And for a while, Biden had an advantage despite his failures. And keep in mind, he was the least popular president since World War II, except for Jimmy Carter, before the 2022 midterms. And we were all expecting a red wave, and it never happened. So just the fact that he's unpopular doesn't mean that's how it's going to end up on the voting in the voting booth when when voters actually cast their ballots. I mean, I, but you, the party that, but the part, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, Mark. just that the party that figures the party that figures out first that maybe I should listen to the voters and choose somebody else as my nominee is going to have an advantage. If the Democrats look at these polls and say, I'm going to take Trump, I'm going to take uh, Joe Biden off the ballot and put somebody else up at that, then that's good. They, they have an advantage going into the election if Republicans stick with Trump. By contrast, if the Republicans do it, I mean, if you look at that same poll that shows uh, uh, Trump uh, narrowly winning in those swing states, Nikki Haley crushes Joe Biden wow. in those swing states. Got it. By, by double digits. I mean, Michigan, she wins by 10. Pennsylvania, by 10. Wisconsin, by 13. Trump loses by two. So I think what, what the voters are saying is we don't want either of these candidates. Okay. And one party, somebody's going to listen or not. Interesting. Mark Thiessen, come back. We love having you on.